All right, welcome back to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, everybody. 28 cases won by Detective Artie, so we just have 12 more. And then we catch Carmen. So if we continue the run of free cases per stream, we should be done in four more streams. That's math. And I am pretty good at math. I did get a minor in it. Good to have you back on the job. Thank you, Chief. I've got a brand new case for you. Would you like to take it? Why, yes, I absolutely, absolutely I would. There's a mountain jacker in Pakistan. Hmm. K2 is gone. What? That's right. Someone's managed to haul off and hide the tallest mountain in Pakistan. The second tallest mountain on Earth. Now How? it's time for you to haul off and bring that hill back. Alive. <laughs> if you say no, it takes you back to the file select screen. You don't get a voice clip of her chewing you out, being like, Now why did you even come to work, gumshoe? <laughs> okay, so apparently they stole the mountain K2. Not sure how. What do you need? She said she had an appointment with a barber who's a Berber on the Barbary Coast. Forget where Barbary Coast she is. She must have been looking for a photo opportunity. Cool. She's a girl with a camera. So basically she's an in... So basically that... Hello? That narrow, so basically she's a girl. Every girl is taking their cell phone cameras around and taking selfies and posting them to the Instagram. She said that she wanted to visit and the that's why I can't find anybody to date. The, mosque, the largest mosque in Africa. Oh, okay, Africa. That definitely narrows it down. I guess she was of medium height. There we go. Oh, what's this? Fortune cookie. Fortune, oh, you shall meet your perfect match soon. Not too tall, not too small. Is that so? Hello there. She didn't just go to the Maghreb, meaning the West. She went to an area known as the Farthest West. Okay, I think I know what I that probably is. could have wrapped my arms around her twice. And you, sir, are tiny. So she is a paper uh, clip. Do you need information? Yeah. She's so skinny, she probably holds her pants up with a rubber band. Okay, so she has anorexia. I'm glad we've established Hi this. If you want to know the color of her hair, All right. look at those herrings she's been throwing in your path. Cool. She's a redhead. Boom, get the warrant already. And we are off to... Morocco. <laughs> Do, 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 do. We're going to Morocco. <laughs> it's the Diddy Cone Racing Laugh. Hi there. I have not eaten Moroccan food before. I don't really know she what it said entails. Something about seeing some Sikhs on the subcontinent. On the subcontinent? Okay, that's gotta be New Zealand then. The only one that it could be. I guess it's not that. I thought by subcontinent they were referring to Australia. Or in that that particular region. I guess not. Whoops. <laughs> that was uh, that was embarrassing. Well, that handicaps us pretty heavily. New Zealand is not just a casual flight from Morocco. It's like kind of halfway across the world. Oh, they meant the subcontinent of, of, of Asia, not the subcontinent of the world. Whoops. I guess like what what food do you eat if it's Moroccan cuisine? Is it like a lot of hello stranger? Like a lot of beans? I don't know. She said she was headed for a capital city in the mountains where factories raised smog levels to new heights. Okay. Uh, probably not Iceland. Probably not Spain. Don't think it's Mexico. Is it Singapore? I don't know for sure. Let's just ask some more people. Hey, bro. Welcome. May I help you? Police with little breeding dogged her... Never mind. Chihuahua, but they were... It is Mexico. El vuelo Glad I got some more information before just sailing off to Singapore. Hmm, 
Interesting. I, I, I've had couscous before. It's not great. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it, but I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. Haven't had lamb before. Not sure if I'd like it or not. Drive! Oh, yes. The cucaracha intensifies. Hello. Can I be of service? Yes. Where did they go? scope out the action close up in the homeland of Anton van Leeuwenhoek, inventor of the microscope. Okay. If that's not a... <laughs> If that's not, like, a Germanic country, I don't know what is. Anton de Lederhoeken. Good afternoon. Thank you. She's picking pockets in an OPEC nation bordering Afghanistan and Pakistan. Cool, what are our options? It's Iran. Do, 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 do. I'm aware Instagram wasn't a fan when this game was released. I'm talking about nowadays. I am a guy who has never, ever seen or opened Instagram, and I don't intend on ever starting. What seems to be I'm trying the to get more off of social media, not more on it. She's gone to an island in the Tasman Sea to see a devilish marsupial. Okay, Tasmanian devil. I can't remember exactly where they appear. Good day to you! Good day to you! She said that it has always been her dream to see the Dreamtime paintings in Cockadoo National Park. Cockadoodle-doo! Are you looking for help? Yes, I am. She's having a Captain Cook at a continent first claimed by England over 200 years ago. Well, we're going to Australia then, mate. What a wallaroo! <laughs> Good morning. Flight 415 is now arriving in Australia. Cool. <laughs> they update this game, now you can see Mario Kart racers in the background. Alright, so she has a camera, a redhead, normal height, super skinny. Probably her. A lot of redheads in uh, Australia, apparently. Do you need assistance? Yeah, I need you to assist me by GET IT DOWN ON THE GROUND, YOU'RE UNDER ARREST! <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Leia D. Land nabbed. <laughs> Thanks for stealing K2. We'll take it from you here. You may have stopped me, but you'll never arrest Carmen San Diego. We'll see about that. She'll mess up one day. The news is out. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. You cracked the case. <laughs> I did my best. You landed Leia D. Land. Her horizons will end at the jailhouse wall for a long time. Ooh. I need a proven success like you to take this next case. Oh, good. Can you do it? Oh, you know I will, Chief. You know I can't say no to that face. There's turmoil in Germany. Someone stole the keys from Beethoven's first piano. <gasps> Old Ludwig van banged out some of the world's best music on those ivories. That They're Beethoven. a national treasure, and you've got to get them back. So dash to Deutschland and bag that burglar. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to break in and tell you my next break in will break records. I'll be seeing you. Thanks. You're my favorite TV show, Carmen. You don't mess with Beethoven. I just want to go to Germany. Yes! I love Germany. You don't mess with Beethoven. He's my favorite composer by far. He composed like the best pieces of music ever while he was freaking deaf. He couldn't even hear them. He couldn't even hear how good they are. He just knew they were good. <laughs> Yes, I love the German knee music. Hello there. <laughs> I hear that the local mountain climbers invited her to a Sahama party. See you, Vince. I probably could have wrapped my arms around her. Twice. Is it just the same girl? Oh, hello. 
she was going to ask some South American Indians to make her a boat from Totara reeds. Okay. You'd lose sight of her if she stepped behind a light post. She's skinny. Thanks for stopping at Black Beauty Hair Salon. We hope you bring your dark locks back to us. Cool. Dark hair. Very nice. There are some really good composers out there. Don't get me wrong. But Beethoven, I think, was the best. Ah, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is, in my opinion, the best Don piece of music Juan that's ever been composed. Of Amore, set her on a course with the banks of the Mamore. She cocked the rim of a brim across her brow. You could have just told me that she wore a hat. Ahoy, sailor! Do you need information? <laughs> she confided that she was setting up a ring to smuggle artifacts of the Tiwanaku Empire. Tell me about the suspect! Her head was covered from ear to ear. Thanks, she wore a hat. I'll remember that, Mr. Krabs. How can I help you? She said that Oruro had tin, copper, and hot water in its veins. She said her nickname was Skyscraper. Cool, cool. That's the last piece we needed. We got that warrant. All right, it's somewhere in South America, so it could be Bolivia or Chile. Let's see which one has tin and copper. Tin. Metal smelting. All right, that's something. Copper and other mining, so it could be potentially either of them. Let's see. Tiwanaku Empire. Don Juan and Mamora. Totora reads. Interesting. And Sahama. There we go. Bolivia, Mount Sahama. Beethoven composed that music piece that we were just listening to. Bienvenido, viajero. Bolivia se siente orgullosa de tu visita. For Beethoven. Why, hello. Hello. As a confirmed fan of red meat, she had a beef about okay. going to Okay, cool, cool. I've had that clue before. We're going to India. Casual 18-hour flight. What are you guys doing here? How dare you? Give me back my steak! What's going on? They say your suspect just heisted a hacienda in Jalapa. Okay, Spanish-speaking country for sure. Alright, it can't be Bolivia, could... Um, I, Brazil speaks Portuguese, so we're going to Mexico. Just flying from one side of the globe to the other over and over again. Buenas noches. El vuelo 415 está llegando a México. Mexico has great cuisine. I love Mexican food, which is why I pretty much never go to Mexican restaurants in Michigan. Because Michigan has generally pretty bad Mexican restaurants. Hello there. She's bouncing around a country once called Campuchia, like a sap looking for rubber trees. Rubber tree, always good for clotheslines. Good afternoon. She's hanging out on some high land south of Thailand. I'm sorry, but if the Mexican restaurant doesn't have, like, the chefs in the back unable to speak English, I don't want to eat there. <laughs> what? She said she was going to look for Prince Theonook. Hello, stranger. She's going by a former name in Campuchia. Best Mexican food I've ever had. There's a... I hope it's still there. There's a tiny little place in Santa Barbara, California, called Rudy's. Best steak What's tacos in, in the universe. Nothing else can compare. I have tried to replicate them. I absolutely cannot. She's gone to Angkor to help Khmer recover their former capital. This is going to be one of those, like, oh, it's, uh... Okay. It's definitely not Canada. It is definitely not Guatemala. It's definitely not the Netherlands. It's Cambodia or Morocco. I don't think it's Morocco, so we're going Cambodia. 
do 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 It would be a lot harder if we could choose any country on the map instead of just one of uh five. Hey, get back here, lady. What seems to be the problem? Well, the problem was I couldn't click on She's you. She's hoping it will be a rapid trip to the Atlantic coast once she reaches Livingston Falls. Oh, ahoy! <laughs> How can I help you? She told me she wants to lift a leopard hat off the head of the longtime national leader, Mobuto Seise Seiko. I have literally no clue what you're talking about. Hi, glad to meet you. She has a room with a view in Bukavu on the beautiful shore of Lake Kivu. I don't recognize any of these names, which means it's probably a place in Africa somewhere. Yes, what is it? The jet she left on had a green flag. Oh, this was the flag that doesn't actually technically exist. I will, oh, it's Zaire. When in doubt. Because Zaire doesn't exist anymore. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's just the default mouse cursor of Windows XP. That's why. I don't know what Zaire's like, because Zaire doesn't exist anymore. And I've definitely never Tell been. Me what you need. I've never left North America. I've never left the United States. Rumor has I do want to change that recently eventually, though. seen meandering about the mausoleum of Mohammed V, the country's last sultan and the nation's first king. Okay. Not China, not Cuba, not the Netherlands. Could be Morocco? Where is Tanzania? Why can't I go to that spot there? There's a dot there, but it's not letting me hover over it. Yes, she said that she was dying to see the blue man of the. Okay, I think it's Tanzania then. Oh wait. Oh, it's because I was. Wait. It said I was in Kim. No. Oh, that's why I couldn't fly. I was in Zaire. That was. Never mind. I'm just dumb. Just ignore that. I'm going to Morocco. <laughs> Okay, we're looking for a tall, black-haired girl with a hat, and who's like a twig. Okay, that's not black hair. That's black hair, though. Man, she, again. Man, it is a good thing that your sister got premature gray hair. Otherwise, I would have arrested her. <laughs> you were very lucky that... <laughs> Hello. Your sister yeah, is very okay. lucky that she went prematurely gray. You can be of service by coming with me because you are under arrest! <laughs> Miss Ann Stuff captured. How dare you steal Catching me was a tall Beethoven's order, piano key. but nabbing Carmen would be a colossal achievement. Yes, it will, which is why I'm going to capture Carmen before Ray Tran can. Hey, I see by the paper you foiled another caper. You know it. You made life tough for Miss Ann's stuff, and now a lot fewer people will be missing their stuff. That was masterful detective work. Yes, and we are master detective. You a master detective. Yes, we are. Congratulations. You've been promoted again. Now that you're one of my top people, I'm putting you on a top priority case. Thank you. That is if you want to take it. Well, I am what the master say? detective, so I better not say no to my first master detective case. I just got a call from Kenya. Nairobi International Airport is missing. What? Every plane, every hangar, every runway is gone. And I'll bet you a bucket of nickels that vile is behind it. Gumshoe, you'd better get over there and Who else could steal a whole airport? Also, does this mean we can't fly in and out of Kenya? <laughs> oh, wait, no. This is why we have private jets. But then why are we having flight attendants here?
Well, now nobody can get in and out of Kenya. So that's interesting. May I help you? You go, yes, you may. His passion for dance took him to the place where the rumba was invented. Okay. Stray hairs swept across his face like wisps of smoke. Oh, we're after an old man! I'm excited about this one. Hi there. He's off to the largest island in the West Indies. Okay. If you ask me, he could almost hide behind a toothpick. And you're pretty skinny yourself. Joink! Man, all the skinny people are stealing Greetings. stuff today. What's going on here? Rumor has it he's reliving his childhood diving on the Isle of Youth. Hmm, interesting. Everything above his eyebrows was the color of chrome. So, your hair color. Yeehaw! Hello, may I be of service? The, the, the cowgirls never have cowgirl voices. You will probably which is funny. find him at the Hemingway Museum researching the old man and the sea. He would have to stand on his tiptoes to see over a counter. Oh man, so he's an old man and he's super short. What did he have with him, a camera? Sorry about the hole we poked in your hat. Luckily it doesn't look like rain. Cool, cool. Got a hat! Oh, he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna be the tiny guy with the mustache. I already know that's what he's gonna look like. Okay, island in the west of the Indies. So... Could be Cuba. No, 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 no. Alright, it's Cuba. It's the only one that's an island. Boop -a -doop -boo, boo boop boo boop boo 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 Eric the Red is typing faster than you. Buenas tardes. El vuelo 415 está llegando a Cuba. You never learn. Hey, bro. Why, hello. I hear he's gone to sink some money into tin mines on the islands of Sinkep and Bonka. What the heck does that mean? Oh, wow. Hey, bro. Do you need information? He was seen in Samarong on Sunday, but I think he left for the Lesser Sunda on Monday. This has definitely got to be someplace in Africa. Can't be Kenya. Well, it's not someplace in Africa, because Kenya was the only option. Do you need some help? He's gone island hopping across the world's Thank largest you. archipelago. Thank you, that's all I needed to know. Folks, we're going to Indonesia. Boop -doo -boo day, 20 hour flight. The Pacific Ocean is freaking massive, man. Hello, sir. Good day. He's heading for the country where Isaac Denison was a denizen. Mm-hmm. Doesn't tell me anything. What's going on? He's gone to collect rents from a fence in Odensa. Also tells me nothing. What do you need? He said he would decide to be or not to be in a hamlet he'd heard of in Helsinger. Okay, I know Shakespeare. Eric, it's Denmark. I, I took a lot of Shakespeare. I know Hamlet takes place in Denmark. Hello, lady. What's on your mind? He had to meet someone in front of the statue of Kamal Ataturk, the father of a modern Near East Republic. Okay, interesting. What do you need? Didn't I see you back in, like, Morocco He's or something? Tanning himself on the turquoise coast on the Mediterranean Sea, just north of the island of Rhodes. Yeah, Shakespeare is a fantastic writer. Yeah. What do you need? He was all fired up about chasing a chimera in the Taurus Mountains, just north of the island of Cyprus. Okay. So we're looking at constellations, eh? It's not Mexico. I know that much. Hey there! My sources tell me he's involved in a cheesy deal to corner the goat cheese market in eastern Anatolia. Anatolia? Cheese markets? I think that's Turkey. I will disagree. Romeo and Juliet I thought was definitely one of the weaker Shakespeare plays. 
It's, st- it's not like, I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a romantic story. It's like, no, it's not. It's the story of two families that are stupid, two people from those families who are stupid, another guy who's stupid, well, and know. everyone dies. Rumor because they're stupid. It, that he's joined a gang of tomb robbers in the Valley of the Kings. Is that so? Hey, Caesar. You want to be on the internet? No, he just wants to eat his kibble. What do you need? He had an assignment from a travel magazine to write about the city where Nefertiti reigned as queen. <laughs> Nefertiti? <laughs> this isn't? Oh, no, it is Egypt. I'm like, this isn't Egypt? I'm like, no, it, it is Egypt. <laughs> it's, like how, it's like how all the, like, all the girls are like, oh my gosh, Romeo and Juliet is such a romantic play. Those are the same girls who are like, oh my gosh, Mr. Darcy is the best man ever. It's like, no, he wasn't. Mr. Darcy was a tool. The girl only married Mr. Darcy because he was less of a tool than the Hi, other guy she glad was into. to meet you. He was waving a flag with a single yellow star on a red background. Hello, China. <laughs> We're going to where Jean Zena is. What? I'm sorry. Oh, it said a single yellow star. That's where we got it wrong. Okay, well, it's not Israel, it's not Italy, it's not Japan, it's not the United States, so by process of elimination, it's gotta be Vietnam. Not too far away. Whoa, it looks like they were dancing together. Hello, can I be of service? He plans to steal a peek at Mount Monaslu. Don't know what that mountain is. Hello there. Hello. He plans to get even with locals in the Tarai. Hey there. As you can see, the hints are definitely he getting tougher as we get onto the newer cases. A rapid trip to the Narayani River. Narayani. Tell me what you need. He said things would be fine once he reaches the shrine of Pashu Patanath. Okay, let's try to pro process of elimination. So it can't be China. Pashu Patanath. Hmm. It's, if it's a shrine, I think it would be in Nepal. Because they don't really have shrines in Austria or Germany. Yes! All right, just as a reminder. Okay, yeah, it's, it's going to be this guy, but with gray hair. There he is. Hello there. Hello there. You're going to jail. <laughs> yeah, Grandma. Get Grandpa. <laughs> yes! Art Shrivel captured. <laughs> or Art Shrivel, I'm sorry. Rats. I should have known someone was on my tail. <laughs> he is under the arrest. Great work! The papers are praising your perfect pursuit! No, oh, I want you to say it's all over the papers! That arch creep, Art Shrivel. Now his arch rival is the prison warden. Oof. The problem is, there's already been another major burglary. What? Can you lend your expertise to another case? Well, I could, but it is getting a little late, Chief. Sorry, but them's the breaks. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to continue that three cases a uh, stream. So that should be pretty nice. All right, well, that's going to do it for tonight. Uncolorful already plays old computer games that nobody really cares about anymore. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well, I might not be streaming Saturday because there's a chance my sister will be uh, coming over and we might be doing something fun instead. It's still up in the air. I'm going to say... Assume that I will be streaming on Sunday instead. And if I do stream on Saturday, that'll just be a pleasant surprise. So I think that's going to be how it's going to gonna be. As for what I'm streaming on Saturday, I will most likely be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. That famous indie horror game. The first one. And I will probably be doing the entire game in one stream. Because I actually have played it before. And I know a lot about the game. And I'm pretty good at it at this point. So it should be... It's, it's a creepy game, but it's not too bad. 
and I'll be there to lighten the mood. So <laughs> if you're, if horror games aren't usually your fan, this one is actually a pretty good one to start off with. So at, at that point, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. I, uh, Oh yeah, it's a good point. Daytime or nighttime? Um, nighttime, definitely nighttime, probably seven or 8 PM Eastern standard time is when I will start streaming. If, if it's Sunday, that's definitely when it'll be happening. So look forward to that. It's going to be spooky, but it's going to be great. All right. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.